everybody, Shaughnessy here with the Eastern Iowa Arts Academy. You ready to use your imaginations today? Today is go crazy with your imaginations day. All right, so our, our prompt for today, I'm gonna give you the prompt, I'm gonna think about it myself, I hope you think about it a little bit, um, and then we're just gonna get going. Um, so our prompt today is to create an animal. Sometimes we were, I was talking last night at dinner, we were having this conversation and thinking about animals that we were like, if we didn't know this animal really existed, we would, we would think it was fake, like, um, like a platypus, right? Um, it seems like someone made that up and put it together. <laughs> um, it doesn't seem real. Or even, even um, something like a giraffe or an elephant, you're like, it has this super long neck and little horns and it's all, it has polka dots all over it. Um, that seems like crazy, like something maybe out of Dr. Seuss. Um, so I want you to come up with an animal today, and I'm going to do it this, uh, this time by using, um, I'm going to start with a piece. So I have this lion here, I have this bird, I have this other bird. So I'm going to start with a piece that's already existing, and I'm going to add to it and, and add something else. So um, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is take this lion, because I like how he's sort of like sitting down here and like the rest of his body would be over here but instead of a lion body i can make it something else so maybe i'll make it a zebra-ish body or maybe i'll make it um like a caterpillar or a centipede and have like a million legs um maybe i'll turn it into a motorcycle i don't know whatever <laughs> whatever comes to mind um so i want you to take take an animal um and again this can be something that you cut out of a magazine this can be um a picture that you took, another picture that you drew, um, and you're going to interrupt what you would normally expect and make it sort of imaginative. For this bird, if I have room on the page, I think I'm gonna, sorry bird, I'm gonna sort of decapitate this bird right here and cut off this part of him and this part of him, and, and I'm gonna make like something interesting in between, right? So I'm gonna give him a super long neck and, and really stretch him out a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna work on, on these animals for a little while. You work on your animals. I'll meet you back here in a minute. All right, I'm getting super excited about this, uh, this imaginary animal stuff. Um, okay, so I have I've put some green. I've decided sort of how I want this to look. I want this bird, I cut his head off. Where did his head go? I'll find it in a minute. Oh, here it is. So I cut this bird's head off. Poor guy, here he is, here's his head. I've separated it from his body. Um, I think I'm gonna put the body over here, I'm gonna put the head way up here, and I'm just gonna connect it um, in an interesting way. So uh, I've prepped this page, I used some just notebook paper torn out and some sheet music. Sheet music is always really fun to have sort of in the background. And then I've got, given it sort of a wash of green with watercolor. Watercolors are really good if you just sort of want a stain of color. You don't really want to cover up a lot of stuff. Um, you just sort of want to stain your pages. So um, I've used some of my watercolors and then I decided I'm gonna make this guy into like a millipede with creepy legs. Um, and I thought I had this extra accordion piece um, that we hadn't used before um, like that. So I thought it would be cool if he was really big and he could start out on this page and then you'd open it up and his legs would be sort of like creeping out around here. So um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I've got these pages prepped. I'm gonna get to working on them. Um, I can't wait to see your guys' imaginary animals, what you come up with. Um, let your imagination sort of just go crazy today um, and, and make something up. See you guys tomorrow.